What's up guys? You caught me in the middle of recording a different video than this one, and I can't tell you exactly what that is here, but I'll give you a little hint. It involves this beast. We'll get into that later though. But what I thought could be a fun video today is to kind of show you how I do my recording and anytime I do streams of console, console games. Because as you can see, I've got Sonic 2 playing right there, but then I also have Sonic 2 on the monitor behind me. And if I unpause the game, you can see, as I'm sure you can hear, it is synced up. The question now is, how do I do that? What's my setup like for recording consoles to my computer? So as you can see, I've got six different consoles here set up and I can record from any of them at any given time. And that's especially thanks to this. This is an eight port audio video switch that I have set up here that has all six of these consoles running into it. This switch allows me to turn on any of the six consoles and then at the press of a button have the AV signal going to the TV without having to get behind the TV and swap cables or swap any of the cables in from this, these ports on the front. The video out on the AV switch then comes out to here, which is a four port AV signal amplifier and splitter. Now what this allows me to do is to have that AV signal sent out to up to four different devices at the same time. One of those being the TV, so I get an uninterrupted signal, and then the other comes down to this. Now this here is an AV to HDMI upscaler. I didn't spend too much money on one. I got one from Walmart. It was their on brand, because all I needed for it to do was to function. You can get nicer, better ones, but that's all I needed it to do. And I know a common issue with these upscalers, especially the cheap ones, is that sometimes you get some interlace issues with the video feed that's recorded, but I've yet to notice anything significant in my recordings. Now it comes out of that upscaler down an HDMI port to the EVGA XR1 Lite. I highly recommend this capture card if you're in the market for one. It's basically an Elgato HD60 for basically half the price. And that, like any HDMI capture card, feeds directly into the computer to give me my signal into OBS. The EVGA XR1 Lite is designed to work with OBS, so it's a no-brainer choice for something like this. So yeah, while I was working on this video, I thought it would be a good idea for another video to give you guys a little insight as to how I do my recording and my streams when I actually get back to doing those. It's coming back, I promise. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I look forward to bringing you guys more retro game-related stuff in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good one, y'all.